Hey you guys, JP here. Uh, Camp down for the night. Uh, kind of had some food and uh, had a long hike today from all this exploring and everything, uh, looking for morels. And uh, if you want to find morels, you got to find either burned areas or an area that uh, has been bulldozed over or logged. Uh, I'm in a prime location right now, and I uh, just kind of want to take you guys out on a little tour to see when a really good producing area what it's like. Look out there in the horizon. There's the Sierras up there. Anyway, uh, just want you guys to kind of experience what I'm seeing here. Uh, the, we've had a few really warm days, so uh, the morels are popping up right now. Uh, you'll see these burn piles. A lot of times the morels will uh, come up around the burn piles. Uh, I've really looked and looked, and this is a really prime site. I'm going to camp out here for the night and in the morning. I'm going to uh, harvest uh, some morels here. Uh, anyway, I just want to take you guys and kind of show you what it's like when you hit a really nice flush and stuff. Uh, there's a little morel right there, right in front of us. Small morel. As we go down the hill, it just gets progressively more and more morel. Yeah, they're pretty much shot all through this area right here. Uh, it's really fun when you come up on a site and uh, they're everywhere. Uh, basically, they're pretty much everywhere you look right now. Some of them are pretty small, but uh, they're pretty much all the way through here. Let me see what they look like. We got the morel dog here helping, koala. And here you see some more, more, more morel. Nice flush going on. I carry a thermometer with me, and uh, when the soil reaches uh, over 50 degrees, then the morels will be there. It's kind of a nice little uh, tool you can use. Here's a, uh, another burn area. Yeah, they're just full of morels in here. Pretty amazing. They're just coming up right now, a real good flush happening. They're literally everywhere I almost step. Pretty cool to find a really good flushing site. It doesn't happen all the time. You spend a lot of time looking and get skunked and you can't get discouraged. You just keep on looking and don't give up and you'll eventually come across a nice flush site like this. Uh, basically, everywhere you look, there's morels. Yeah, this is a real nice, really good site. See what we've got going on here? A little mix of false morels and morels here. Some big clusters. Let's zoom in on that. Beautiful. We get walking down pretty much everywhere. A real good flush in here. So you can kind of see this area has been logged and a lot of people kind of passed this spot up. It was a little hidden spot I found. Uh, you know, a lot of places if you look, <clears throat> you'll see a lot of tracks where people have been there many, many times and uh, really picked through the morels. It's really neat when you come up to a spot that uh, hasn't been picked and you just uh, out here by yourself being greedy, picking everything you can. Pretty fun. Okay, here's a real good flush spot I want to show you guys. Uh, they're basically shot everywhere in here. Looks like 
Those are just coming up. You know, usually when I hit a couple of real warm 80 degree days down the valley, two, three 80 degree days, and I know the morels will probably start popping. Uh, this, I was at a, searched all morning, couldn't find much. I was at a lower elevation, I came up into a higher elevation. Sometimes that's what does it. It's a little more moisture here. They're basically lots and lots. They're all through here. Not real big, but uh, I found some earlier today in the morning. I'm going to look around. It's a big burn site, I mean, a big uh, log site, so I should find some more big ones. Anyway, pretty exciting. Just wanted to give you guys a, a look at how it is when you come up and, uh, on a big flush of morels. Real exciting. Anyway, guys, I'm going to do a little picking here and then uh, uh, get ready to uh, camp out for the night and in the morning um, see what else I can find. Okay, you guys take care. JP signing out.